Hi, John and Colin. You're probably wondering what this whole DVD is about. Um, the staff of Nash Jewelers, past and present, have gotten together to congratulate you on 95 years of success. It's a huge deal and we all feel really proud to be a part of this company. So we just wanted to celebrate with you and this is our gift to you. So we really hope you enjoy this video. Nash Jewelers, uh, we've survived four generations, 95 years. Um, it's an honor and a privilege to be part of it, to, to know that my great-grandfather started the business and I get to work in the same footsteps as my great-grandfather, my father, my great-grandfather, my brother. Um, and 95 years we've had dedicated staff, um, people who have worked at our store for 30, 40 years and they've been such a big part of the Nash family and represented the Nash brand um, not only in the store but also in the community and you couldn't ask for better people to work with. Um, 95 years my job is so much fun uh, I don't consider going to work work it is a blast. It means a lot to me because I spent 40 years of my working career at Nash Jewelers and I can remember my grandmother telling me what a lovely prestig prestigious jewelry store it is and so I was always so proud to say I work at Nash Jewelers. John and Colin, congratulations on Nash Jewelers 95th anniversary. What do you say about a company that has survived the times, the changes, uh, the different trends over the years? Um, besides, wow. I have been given the opportunity to work and obtain experience through the best jeweler in the industry. What it means to me is that Nash is an integral part of downtown and the community that we're able to service our clients with the utmost honesty. It's fourth generation family owned, so I'm very proud to be part of that Nash family. 95 years in London. Uh, it's a tremendous feat considering the city's about 160 and the time frame uh, of the 95 years and what uh, they had to go through uh, between the war and depressions and all that stuff. Uh, it's just a, a tremendous feat to make it in any business, let alone a family-owned uh, jewelry business, uh, which is even tougher, I would say. It means uh, that a small business can actually achieve longevity and it's just something that you don't see a whole lot every day. And you know, being in this business and saying when somebody walks in the door that you've been around 95 years, it just adds so much credibility and uh, people kind of stick around with you just because of that. Hi Colin and John. Um, I can't believe it, 95 years. Just want to say congratulations. And uh, I was just saying to Colin the other day how it's been 12 years since I've been here. I kind of feel like I've grown up, got married, had two baby boys. Um, you both mean so much to me and the store means a lot to me and it's been really really a great experience. Hope for another 95 years. Working for Nash is it's being like, uh, like a, a part of the family. They are fair, they treat you well, they appreciate your work, they have a good leadership, and they have good bosses, nice bosses. Congratulations on the 95th anniversary, and I wish you all the best. I guess what it means to me is, um, well, I've been with them for a long time. I was, uh, I started when I was 17, and um, I was just a little, I felt like a little kid, and I had all kinds of girls that kind of took me out under their wing. And uh, it's just, it's been a special, special time for me just because I was a teenager and was able to grow and learn a lot from them. And it's just, it's a, it's a great place to work, for sure. So 95 years of business uh, in London means a lot to me because growing up in London it's nice to see like a really loyal, successful like business uh, continue for so many years so it's great to be part of that. Nash's 95 years of business is incredible. It's crazy to think that I'm a part of this history of London. Um, but above all I think it just proves Nash's dedication to the London community. Nash's 95 years means stability integrity, 
expertise, dedication. I take pride in telling people that I work at Nash's. 95 years in, for a family business to be in uh, a going concern is something pretty amazing in itself. Uh, in a town like London, um, I can't even imagine. I've, you know, I've only lived here for th uh, three or four years and everywhere I look, any time I say where I worked, everybody says, Oh, the Nashes, they're good people. And I think that's what the 95 years represents to me. Hi, John and Colin. Um, I just want to say happy anniversary and congratulations on 95 years of business. That is such a massive achievement and uh, definitely something that you should be proud of. And I know that we are all honored to be here and being able to share in that with you. Well, their place in London, um, everybody knows of them. They have a reputation. When I came out of school, I remember looking around at places and I uh, always thought, yeah, wouldn't it be awesome if I could just maybe? And then I got hired here. And John was great and he's all about the education. And he educates us, but it's also about us educating the people coming in to make sure they get what they want. 95 years of business. Um, it's a pretty amazing feat. It's not something that you hear about a lot nowadays, especially to still be family owned, same family, fourth generation is a pretty amazing thing. Um, with the way the economy's gone, it's pretty remarkable uh, to be a part of a business like that. Um, it's almost indescribable really because it, it just doesn't happen anymore. Um, so it means a lot to me to be included uh, and be part of the family basically without actually having the last name. <laughs> Uh, I'd say Colin Nash would be uh, energetic uh, and kind of infectious and anytime he's around you just uh, pick up on it and feel good. Energetic, enthusiastic for sure. Colin Nash in one word I would say energetic for sure. If I could describe Colin in one word I would say determined. Uh, when it comes to Colin one word I think of is energetic. I feel like there's always two of him. <laughs> he's so busy all the time. Colin in a word I would say is dynamic, he's bubbly, he's on the go all the time, he makes everyone feel comfortable. If I had to say one word about Colin, I would have to say passionate. Uh, the day he started up here on the floor, I could see he had a tremendous passion for the business and for the industry. First thing that comes to mind is energetic, trusted, and very kind. To describe Colin Nash in one word would be impossible. <laughs> um, I remember when I first started at the company about three years ago, I worked at the downtown store and um, I worked side by side with Colin every day and I remember wanting to be just like him. He has so much passion and dedication to his job and it's contagious to be around. Um, he's definitely a hard-working individual, but above all, he's a great boss, he's a great mentor to me, and he's an incredible friend. Well, there's more than one word, but positive, upbeat, and full of energy. Three words to describe Colin would be energetic, dedicated, and just overall a great boss. Energetic, dynamic, caring, enthusiastic. What else can you say? Colin, you and I worked a, li worked a little bit more closely. And um, of course, lots of words come to mind, but I would have to say the one that really comes to mind for you would be heart. Everything about the way that you run this business, you make decisions, whether they're big or small, you make them from the heart. And your internal compass is something to be admired as well, and it really is the secret to your success. You take the um, skills that you have learned from the generations before and put that together with your heart, and you will have major success. Energetic. He's got the energy to go and go and go, and he's always engaged in different things, and he's passionate about things, and yeah. Describing Colin in one word is difficult, to say the least, but I think I would choose the word mentor. Um, he's somebody that I look to for guidance in so many different aspects. Um, for leadership, obviously, um, but to also grow as a person, and as, as, a, as a sales associate, as somebody involved in the business, I've been in the business a long time, so to have, be able to work with somebody like him is um, amazing, really. So Colin, um, 
Colin, I would describe as energy. Um, Colin is basically like a sparkler. When you swing your arm around and you see that energy going behind the sparkler, that's Colin. He is always on the go. Um, he's motivated. He He's like a remote control that you want to be able to turn off, but you can't because it's just the batteries aren't working and you're trying to put him on mute or trying to put him into Spanish or something else, but he is full of energy. He's such a blast and he really uh, brings the whole store up and he's so good for, for Nash Jewelers and love working with him. A very prestigious London businessman and kind as well. So to describe my dad, I would describe him as a uh, patient. My dad um, is a very patient person. He has six kids. I've never heard him raise his voice higher than an octave. Um, he's so gentle, um, not only with his family on the golf course, but also uh, with his clients. And he treats everybody the same, uh, whether it's an old friend or a new customer. Um, everybody that walks through the door is welcomed with open arms and really makes you feel at home in the jewelry business, um, which is something to look up to and, and inspire to be. John, he's the backbone of Nash's, and the word that best describes John would be brilliant, like the jewelry we sell. So John, that's a play on words. One word for, for John would have to be accomplished. Uh, if you look at the many, many things that John's accomplished just in the 13 years that I've been here, it's unbelievable, uh, from the university to the AGS to uh, American Gem Society, Canadian Jewelers, um, just a little bit of everything. Uh, I'd say cool. Uh, he, uh, he's kind of a nice and easygoing guy and it just uh, kind of rubs off on you as well. Both of them are very, very infectious. Kind. John, knowledgeable. Uh, he was always, when I was, when I was 17, when I started, he was probably quite intimidating at first, uh, but as you get to know him, he's quite, another word, quite humble as well. So that's how I would describe John. Genuine. When it comes to John, uh, he is so fascinating. Like, I feel like I'm always learning more and more about him. To describe John Nash in one word, uh, the first word that comes to mind is intelligent. He's definitely a very smart individual. A uh, very well-educated man. It can be a little intimidating at times, um, but I really enjoy the conversations John and I have had. He has great advice and he tells great stories, so I really just value all of the time that I've spent with John. John is just a real gentleman. John, if I had to say one word to describe you, that word would have to be admirable. Everything you do about the way you conduct yourself is to be admired. You are never disrespectful to people. I have never seen you lose your cool. You are the true example of what it is to be a leader. And I um, learned so much from watching your example. Um, he's definitely a sort of, he's, he's the classic, you know. Um, he's sort of the, what, very straightforward and he's friendly, but he is, he is what you see. And you know, he's always, you know, helpful and, willing to help out. Now John, maybe even more difficult to describe in one word. Um, for him, I think I would choose the word teacher. Uh, he was a teacher uh, and to be a, um, a teacher you have to be a certain type of personality and you never really stop teaching even if you aren't actually in that position anymore and I've learned a great deal from him. I think there's two things that stand out for me. From the time I started at Nash's, I was told that their policy was family comes first. And throughout my career with Nash's, they made this come true. They were so generous in um, sick time, family deaths, family crisis, and of course, being there as many years as I was, there was many family crises, and they stuck through me, uh, through everything with me, and uh, it was just wonderful. Secondly, I think the other policy was John's, and he believed in education. 
His staff was to be very well trained and had to keep up with gems, etc. So while we worked at Nash's and collected our paycheck, we were sent on any courses we wanted to take that were connected with our position. So I was able to gain a lot of self-worth and also be more valuable to Nash's. What makes Nash Jewelers different from any other job is that we use our branding to get involved in the community. We are 95 years London based. Um, we try to give back to the community as much as we possibly can by getting involved in different organizations. Colin, my dad, myself, we try to be involved as, in as many things as we possibly can. Um, donations, uh, local donations are very important and we try to give back to the community as much as possible um, and we really thrive to, to do that and I, I believe that's what separates us from other places and other jobs that I've ever been in as well. One of my favorite things about working at Nash is that I get to work with two mentors, two great mentors. Uh, my father who I've got to watch my whole life growing up and see how he handles the retail business and how he deals with people on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, He's so gentle and patient and he's such a great guy. Um, my second mentor would be my brother Colin. It's such an honor to work with him, uh, to, to know that every day I go to work, I get to work with a brother. Uh, not many people get to do that. And he is such a great teacher, uh, such a great friend. We get to share ideas, bounce ideas off each other, um, and help to take the business to the next level. And that's something that I look forward to every day and also into the future. I can't wait to, to build the brand and build the business and have my brother right there with me to do it. It's, it's such a great feeling, I love it. My past 13 years at Nash Jewelers has been full of excitement and a lot of hard work, especially uh, obtaining my graduate gemologist, also on the day-to-day -day expectations. But you know what, it has been fun. I have worked with many and met many fantastic people in my journey at Nash Jewelers where friendships have formed with staff and with customers too. A lot of bonds have been made. Colin and John, I want to thank you for letting me be a part of the Nash experience. You know what? I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Thank you. We're able to be autonomous and that we are able to work on our own with confidence and yet we have the support of Colin and John behind us. So each employee is unique and special in their own way and that makes the comfortable feel like they're part of the Nash team, part of the Nash family. Nash is a tremendous place to work. It's a family environment. Once you join Nash, you actually join the Nash family. Um, you have all kinds of opportunities. And you're learning something all the time. Um, it's it's very unique. There's uh, things to, to learn every day. You're learning something. The customers are tremendous, uh, and you always have the support of the, the Nash family in behind you. Uh, the staff are great. Uh, I've been here 13 years, and I I still having fun with the staff. Simple rules. Uh, make it easier too. You come in, you do your job the best you can, you look after your customers and that's pretty much uh, all you have to do. And the opportunities, if you want to become a gemologist, that's there for you. There's all kinds of things like that, um, which is very unique in the retail world. It's pretty close to as, as homey as you can be. Uh, you come in and everybody's pretty much a family and it uh, just flows really well and uh, it's a good time all around. That's hard to describe because I haven't really had any other jobs other than Nash's. Um, I did work in a pizza place and that's how I got Nash's job from Jill. She was my manager. Um, so it's hard to kind of describe really what it would be different. I just know that it was always a really good experience. Um, you know, be able to uh, take classes. I was able to get my gemology. Uh, everybody was always really uh, like a family. Everybody's always a family here, which is always nice. And even with uh, the friends that I've made over 
over the years. And not only are they my age, they're vast ages from Michelle being 20 and going all the way up to in their 70s. So uh, I'm very lucky to have a lot of friends at Nash's. Thank you so much, John and Colin, for this incredible experience to work for your company. I feel so grateful to be a part of the Nash Jewelers family. I remember when I started working for you three years ago, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I had no idea if I wanted to go to school or what I wanted to do for a career. I didn't have very much motivation. And Nash Jewelers has allowed me to really find myself. Um, I've had a lot of personal growth while being here the past three years and I found my passion and my love for marketing and sales and business in general and I thank you for creating this incredibly comfortable work environment and enjoyable work environment for me because I have gotten so much out of this position than I could have ever imagined from a job um, and for that I am forever grateful and I thank you again for this amazing opportunity. Congratulations. Well, first of all, there's always a welcoming, friendly environment as soon as you walk in. Secondly, and this is for me personally, it's Colin's high energy and positive attitude. Uh, it definitely motivates me to accomplish more. So I've been working at Nash's for about three months now, and I heard about the position through a friend who had a great experience working at Nash's. Um, I really wanted to work in a fun environment um, and with a product that I believed in and I just love jewelry. Everyone at Nash's has made me feel so comfortable from the first day. It's been a great experience. I'm truly thankful for this opportunity to work for such a great company. Congratulations on your 95 years. First of all, I just want to uh, say congratulations to John and Colin on 95 years in business. Um, they've done an amazing job to um, to, to be in business for this long and they are well respected in the community. Um, I, it has been my pleasure and honor to have worked for Nash's for 35 of those 95 years. It's been just a great experience. And on a personal level, I would just like to thank Colin and John for um, how compassionate and uh, supportive they have been to me personally and congratulations again thank you Nash Jewelers is very much a, a family run with it being a family run business they have the same attitude towards their staff and their customers they expect uh, caring and uh, service and uh, respect amongst all our staff I just want to say thank you both for including me and in, uh, the Nash family. What stands out for me so much about being a part of the Nash Jewelers team is family. And um, I'm very honored to still be part of this family and even though we don't see each other every day anymore, um, it's, it's, it means a lot to me that I'm still included and I'm still um, part of this family with you. So my, the biggest thing that I took away from here is that, is to be included in, as a family member um, with you guys and also um, thank you so much for the business skills. I've learned so much from both of you. You're both so such incredible strong leaders and uh, the skills that I've learned from both of you have changed my life and I'm using them every day in my own business. So I just I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you have taught me. And uh, happy anniversary. The team is important um, but also that we all we work together and we all have our own specialties, but we definitely bounce things off each other and everybody is perfectly willing to be an individual. So if something, somebody loves something, they tell me. And if they're like, mm, that's not for me, that's okay. Because we know there's going to be somebody else who's got a different opinion and things work out better as a group. So I have worked for another family business before totally different um, in the way that they ran their business and the way that their staff was uh, um, appreciated, I guess I would say. Uh, so often in family businesses, it's the family and then the employees are completely separate. Uh, they're just, you don't get sort of included like the family members um, are, are. And one of the things that's amazing about Nash Shores is just the way that the family treats their employees. It's like you are part of the family. You never feel like you're treated any differently. Um, they just, they take care of their people and 
you, I have had so many people ask me if I am a family member because of just the way that we all interact with each other and that's, that's a really great feeling. Um, it's basically like knowing that you finally have found uh, your home, if you will. Um, so that's, yeah, it's a really comforting thing <laughs> for sure. I have to say, I, to go back to the very day I was hired, I think looking back, that's probably the best day of my working career. I was hired by John Nash's dad, Jack, and his uncle, Bill Perkins. And I went in for the interview and you could not meet two finer gentlemen than these two. They hired me on the spot and they basically let me say what I would like to work, the hours, etc. And um, so what a day that was. And then from that point on, I think the greatest thing is all the wonderful co-workers that I had. And I've got to know them so well, their families. I watched young people come to the store and they would meet their loved ones get married, have children, and then I watched their children getting married. And just to mention with the Nash family, the six boys were all born while I was at the store. I watched them grow up. What a wonderful, loving family and wonderful boys. And now those boys are getting married one by one and I'm meeting their children. I have been included in all NASH functions since I retired a couple of years ago. I'm always called, I'm always included. I feel important and special when I'm around the family. And um, I think I'm blessed for everything through the years with NASH Jewelers. So my favorite memory is by far the one of my dad winning the Robert Shipley Award down in Denver. My mom and my brothers and I all surprised my dad up, up on the stage and he won the Robert Shipley Award, which is for a jeweler who shows ethics, um, consumer protection, and knowledge. And uh, before my dad, it was all, the award always went to people who have passed away. And my dad was the very first person to, to be able to go up on stage and, and receive the award. And it was such an honor to be there with him, standing at his side, and he had no idea we were there. And, by far that'll go down um, as my favorite memory um, working here at Nash's. Uh, years ago, the six boys came in. They all went to the basement. They had a photo done for John on the staircase, wearing each other's jackets, uh, ties and shirts, which were definitely too big, but it's a great memory. And after 20 years, I'm just really proud to be part of Nash's. I think there's probably a three-way tie. Number one would be May of 2000 when we opened the store and I walked in on a Monday morning and turned the key and I was here bright and early because uh, I'd never been in this business before. So that was kind of fun, opening the door for the first time. The second one would have just been my biggest uh, diamond sale um, to the Irwins back in 2010 and it just happened by accident because I was up at this store helping out and just happened to, to wait on rent. Uh, tremendous folks. Um, and then I guess the big one would be John winning the Shepley Award at the Conclave. That was an amazing thing to watch. Uh, just one of his many accomplishments. I haven't been here very long, about three years, but uh, I mean the, the memories are still coming in every day and uh, you know going home sick on my first day of work here uh, with Michelle was probably one of those uh, days you wish you could have back but it looks like it worked out and I'd probably say that one. Well I have all kinds of memories. I think one of the memories which I know everybody would probably, um, a lot of the people, all of the older gals anyway will know and I'm part of that older gal part, I better put that in there. But um, when John was talking to Grace which she doesn't work here anymore and she ended up um, chatting saying what she was going to do for the for the evening and ended up farting in front of John <laughs> which is I swear we still talk about it every single one of us still talk about it and how funny it was I'm sure John doesn't even remember because he's probably totally embarrassed 
but we all remember and we laughed our heads off. So there's funny things like that. Just, and we were really lucky to have um, funny memories like that. People and I've met and the friendships that have grown in, in work and outside of work. I uh, just want to say congrats for 95 years and I'm glad I'm part of the team. Um, my favorite memory at Nash's is when I was hired, but then I wasn't sure if I was hired and I was invited to the staff party anyways, but hey, after I got hired so it worked out. <laughs> I love the grilled cheese days, the cookie days, the uh, candy days and the chip days. They're the most important. My, I have two, one professional and that would be the first time I sold an engagement ring on my own and I got a high five from Colin. The second one is more on a personal level. Last year when we did our Christmas party, to walk out into the, walk out into the uh, store downtown and find my boss inside the cases looking like uh, an animal in a zoo. <laughs> he was clean. There's been a lot. There have been some people where we've helped out. I think the times I like best are actually some of the times when we're helping out when something sad or really tragic has happened and someone's decided to make something over or they're taking something sentimental that's been handed down to them and they're making something really special for themselves and I really enjoy being able to take part in that. My favorite memory is actually kind of a two-part thing. Um, working in this kind of uh, line of work, you expect things to be all serious all the time and I, I think all of the staff would say that we have a great time no matter what. I had the um, privilege of going to Conclave in San Francisco with uh, a number of, of employees, but specifically Colin and Brian. And the two things that happened down there that I will never forget was one, after going out for dinner as a group, Colin realized that he needed to get back to the hotel uh, or he was going to miss his plane to go home and we were all staying for another day. So uh, we could not get a cab to save our lives. And I just remember watching him sprinting up the street in the hills of San Francisco trying to get back to the hotel on time so he could grab a cab and get to the airport, only to have him get to the airport and realize that he had misread his ticket and his plane didn't leave for like another two hours. So that was pretty hilarious. And then that same night, we all went out for drinks afterwards uh, and having the one of, well, Rich uh, come to my uh, um, room door after I thought everyone had gone to bed explaining that he thought he had lost Brian because he couldn't find him anywhere in and he had taken off I guess at some point while they had gone back for drinks after Naomi and I had gone to bed um, knowing we had to get up very early the next morning. The boys had gone out for drinks, Brian took off and Richard went into panic mode when he couldn't find Brian anywhere. <laughs> so eventually Brian was found and that was fine, but it was a pretty hilarious situation. I've been asked to pick one word that comes to mind when you mention Nash Jewelers. Well, for me, the word that instantly comes to mind is family. In fact, I started babysitting for the Nash family before I started working for the Nash business. When I was 12 years old, John and Margie hired me to babysit their boys. Three years later, at the age of 15, I started working at the Oak Ridge store. One time, during an estate show, they were short-handed for staff and I was asked to work at the downtown store for a few days. During that time, I had the opportunity to work with Charlie Foster, the first manager of Nash Jewelers. So there I was, a teenager in the late 1970s, working with a man had the, that had been with Nash Jewelers since 1918. Charlie wasn't an employee, he was family. This struck a chord with me. Nash's has always felt more like family than business. I worked part-time at Nash's through university. After graduating from Western, I had met with many companies on campus who were recruiting recent grads, but nothing felt quite right. Jewelry had become my passion and Nash's had become like family. So I started my full-time career at Nash Jewelers. It was obviously the right decision because 30 years later, I was still at Nash's and proud to be only the third manager of Nash Jewelers since 1918. In my last few years at Nash's, I had the opportunity to work directly with Colin and pass along my experiences as Nash's continues its legacy as a true family business. Happy 95th anniversary to Nash Jewelers. John, thanks for the incredible ride.
and Colin, it was a pleasure to work with you and to watch Nash's move towards its 100th anniversary.